welcome back viewers in today's video we are going to check out the garuda mate desktop so let us start i have installed the garuda mate desktop with ms dos partition plus swap plus butter fs because uh, in garuda linux there are no no file system except butter fs that can be installed so it does not offer you the choice of different file systems like in other linux distributions so whenever you do the manual installation you will have to either use the gpt style partition ms dos partition swap or no swap and the only file system that is available is butterfs okay so now we will log in to the actual mate desktop of garuda linux this is the greater screen the accessibility features the keyboard layout the date and the power menu is there The Mate desktop looks very different from the Garuda Linux desktops. The uh, theming of Mate desktop is not Garuda like, it is little different because you can see there are some uh, limitations in every desktop. So, Mate desktop has certain limitations. That's why you can see the Garuda uh, theming is not that great in Mate as compared to the KD Gnome desktops. Now, what we have to do is we have to go and change the display resolution. Yes, the control center is there. In control center, we have to go to the display. Yes, the display is there. We increase the resolution. Now it is okay. Okay, so on the first glance, in front of your screen comes the Garuda welcome. So all the Garuda applications are available for the system administration and maintenance. You can see here, everything is there. It looks the same as in other desktops. Now there are two panels, one at the bottom and one at the right, like in a typical Mate desktops. This is the applications menu. The places menu is there. So from places menu, you can go to any system folder. You can access the network folders, network drives. You can search for files using the Mate search tool. In system, you can check out the preferences, do the administration of the system, do the control setting from the control center. You can lock the screen. You can log out. You can shut down the system and let us check about Mate information. So here you can see the Mate desktop is 1.26.1. So this is the latest Mate desktop version that is available as a uh, for the installation. So this is the latest stable version of Mate desktop. On the right side, you have got the simple volume control. The night light is there. The network manager is there and the calendar is there. At the bottom, this is the uh, minimize all windows button. The workspaces are here on the right side. That's it. So there is minimal functionality in the bottom panel. Now you can see this uh, Ubuntu icon is seen here on the rightmost side of the Mate panel at the top. Now in accessory section, we can see caffeine is there, caffeine indicator is there. What is caffeine? So temporarily deactivate the screensaver and sleep mode. So if you click on caffeine, it will temporarily deactivate the screensaver and the sleep mode. So your system will not go into the sleep mode or it will not show you the screensaver. The desktop will be available for the user at all times. And the caffeine indicator is also available. The characters, the Ngrempa archive manager, this is the firmware updater. Gestures is there, so you can install gestures. Quantum manager, Mate calculator, Mate font viewer, Mate search tool. The micro, that is the text editor in a terminal is there. Pluma is a, another text editor, but this is from the Mate organization. Redshift is there. Software tokens, text screenshot and the Warpinator. So Warpinator they have taken from the Linux Mint desktop. So it is available here in Garuda Linux. 
now let us try to check out the define let us see what happens and let us click on the define indicator so you can see here any information so if you want to activate the caffeine you have to click here so this caffeine is activated now what will happen is the screen saver and the sleep mode will not be activated it will be deactivated so the uh, system will never go to sleep or the screen saver will never be activated that's it and whenever you want to deactivate it you have to just right click and you have to deactivate it very simple but very effective next thing is let us check out the firmware updater so this is the firmware updater let us anyway it will not show any updates because we are in virtual machine but it is there anything else is there for us to check out no in graphics you got the eye of mate image viewer mate color selection short well is also there so there are two image viewers available in internet section the sss server browser vnc server browser fire dragon is there modem manager gui based modem manager is there thunderbird and transmission is there so all the gtk based applications are available in the mate desktop since it is based on gtk technologies office you see uh, as uh, as a tradition in garuda linux they don't provide any office suite by default if you want you have to install the uh, office suite they only provide the document viewer and the dictionary sometimes uh, document viewer and a text editor so that's it this is all what garuda offers they want to keep their desktops very light in programming icon browser meld is there meld is to compare the two files yeah, and also you can merge your files using meld micro is the text uh, editor in terminal in sound video cellular mpv uh, media player pulse audio volume control the video test utilities rhythm box and sound so this is uh, this collection of software is just like it is found in the fenomen desktop in system tools you can see here it is bristling with lot of uh, system tools some of the system tools are from the garuda linux others are from the mate desktop so it is a big collection of different uh, system tools so what we will do is let us check out the edge top so here you can see just 876 mb of memory is being used 76 tasks are running 223 threads are there so very light desktop you can see it's very light anything else is there Aja is there so all those uh, Mate desktop applications are there let us check out the Mate system monitor you can see here CPU usage is below 3% yes it is below 3% 1.1 GB of RAM is being used so this will show little higher CPU usage and the uh, RAM usage also is little higher here in the Mate system monitor other things let us check out octopi what let us check out the wi-fi hotspot so you can add your wi-fi hotspot here so this is the gui based application to add the wi-fi hotspot here linux wi-fi hotspot application name is there and this is the link to the github page of this application So you can uh, have your own SSID. You can also add the Wi-Fi hotspot to the system. You can see here. You can even set a Wi-Fi hotspot on your system. So your system will behave as a Wi-Fi hotspot, and you can then uh, add your peripherals. You can use the your workstation or the laptop Wi-Fi with the Mate desktop on your uh, peripheral systems for example your tablets or your mobile you can also use those using this wi-fi wi spot so you can provide internet facility to those uh, devices and you can do a quite a detailed configuration of the wi-fi wi hotspot that you are generating here and if you want to connect to any wi-fi hotspot you have to use the network manager so both both is available here anything else is there and this is the 
suspend hibernate button i will not click otherwise it the uh, system will suspend or either go in hibernate in universal access on board is given now what we will do is uh, let us go and to the system let us open the control center anything uh, of interest is there for us let us check out the appearance so in the appearance application you can see custom adapter adapter eta adapter nocto and the nocto adapter adapter nocto eta this uh, five themes are there the custom theme is right now applicable let us try to change to the adapter so you can see immediately there is a effect adapter eta let us try adapter nocto so this is black with background Adapter Nocto Eta and the custom theme that was the default one. Now, backgrounds, let us check. So, not many backgrounds, I am surprised, only three backgrounds are given. Let us try this background. Ah, this looks better. Now, the desktop looks better. This was not, uh, not to, up to the mark wallpaper. They should have given the other Garuda wallpapers that should have made this system look very great, but they have. Unfortunately, they have not provided the other Garuda Linux wallpapers. This one looks okay. We can keep this wallpaper. Fonts interface. So this is what this is all what is there in the Marte desktop. Now check out any other thing is there. So all these are standard Mate control center settings. Let us check out the screen savers. So floating cosmos is there, floating genome. Oh, this looks excellent. So I will keep this for part squares. Garuda backgrounds. Yes, the Garuda backgrounds are there. Then why it is not showing us uh, in the uh, background selection, wallpaper selection? This was not shown. I have anything? Aurora, Aurora Dragon, let us try it. Background picture for the lock skin. Okay. So this looks very nice. Let me try to get more backgrounds online. Let us see what happens. Or we can just add the wallpapers from here also. user share backgrounds is there the backgrounds application yes yes so now we can do it just again we'll have to go there user share backgrounds we need to select all and open now the wallpapers will look very cool yes this looks very nice so they, they should have given this wallpapers directly great wallpapers are there looks very nice This one is also nice looking wallpaper. This is the Gnome desktop wallpaper, default for the Gnome desktop. If you have not tried this out, very nice. This one also looks nice. So that's it. We have um, checked out quite a few number of wallpapers. So the Mate lovers will definitely try to install this uh, desktop. So in this desktop installation, we have used the custom or manual partitioning with the MS DOS partitions. We installed SWAP. The ButterFS file system was there. It was the only choice for the file system. No other file system was available. So here the Luke's encryption is not available. 
maybe Z standard and Z RAM will be there and auto snapshots will be also there because the ButterFS file system is there. Let us check out in just a moment. Let me check out where is the Garuda welcome. We need to check out the Garuda welcome app. Yes, Garuda assistant is there. Let me check. Yes, so ButterFS assistant. So if ButterFS assistant is running, that means the ZRAM. Z standard everything is there yes so here you can see the snapper is there it will work so that means the Z standard compression and Z RAM is also there on the system so now I will stop the video here in the next video we will check out the other desktop I think we will check out the KDE light desktop see you in the next video bye bye